The death toll in Gaza has surpassed 10,000 people, the Hamas-run health ministry said after nearly one month of bombardment by Israel whose offensive against Palestinian militants showed signs of intensifying. Determined to destroy Hamas whose October 7 attack left 1,400 dead in Israel, most of them civilians, and saw over 240 hostages taken according to Israeli officials, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed no let-up despite mounting calls for a ceasefire. The dead in Gaza include more than 4,000 children, the health ministry said, while UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres told reporters the bombarded territory was becoming a graveyard for children. Ground forces with tanks have flooded the northern half of the Gaza Strip and tightened an encirclement of Gaza City, effectively splitting the territory in two. The Israeli army said it had pounded Gaza with significant strikes on 450 targets over 24 hours, and that troops were targeting Hamas commanders in underground tunnels. A top Hamas official in Lebanon, Osama Hamdan, said the group, whose militants fired 16 rockets from Lebanon towards northern Israel, would never accept a puppet government in Gaza and that no force on earth could annihilate it. Israeli officials accuse Hamas of building tunnels underneath hospitals, schools and places of worship in Gaza to hide fighters, store arms and ammunition, and plan attacks, charges the militant group has denied.